Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, happy Tuesday to you all. Release schedule is a little bit slower for the day. In fact, the beginning of the week is a little bit slower. Things to ramp up tomorrow, but while we have a little bit of extra time, I figured we'd play a little bit of catch up with some of the K bands today. Um, I know we did an MV catch up, but what we haven't done. And for me, as uh, as someone who is trying to learn more and more about K-Bands, um, one of the best ways to learn about an artist that I don't know all too well is Dingo Killing Voice. And, well, today we're going to be checking out the latest Dingo Killing Voice featuring a certain K-Band by the name of CM Blue, uh, coming courtesy of Jung Young Hwa, who is appearing as the performer for CN Blue's music. Of course, very fresh to the scene when it comes to CN Blue and their music. Um, I'd known of them by name, and that's about it. Hadn't heard any other music up until I checked out um, the Your City release that Yonghua had last week. That released the Limujin service uh, that dropped a couple days beforehand. And now we get a Dingo Killing Voice. The quick and dirty way of learning or roughly getting a TLDR of an, a group's entire discography. So this is going to be great. This is going to be exciting because I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Um, this isn't the only Killing Voice we're doing today because there's an FT Island one with Honky out. And I'm going to get around to that after I finish recording this one. So keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested and it isn't out already. But let's dive into it. DJ, roll the intro. At the moment of recording, there are no subtitles out as of yet, so if there are a lot of pieces to camera, unfortunately I will not be able to understand them, but I feel like that's the way with pretty much most K-pop or K-band releases, is that I just will not, will not be able to understand them, mainly because I just don't know Korean. I'd like to learn one day. I can kind of piece together what things say, in terms, like, phonetically what they say. But I don't know what those mean. And that's the kind of main problem I have with Hangul, is I can piece together roughly what the letters say, but I don't know what the com combination of the letters mean. So, one day. Hopefully on day I'll get there. But in the meantime, we have 20 minutes of CM Blue music to check out, so let's dive into it. Hopefully the internet is good enough to run this without issue. Hello, sir. Prickling my neck for the last half an hour. Let's go. Wow. There's three different guitars here. You have the acoustic. You have the clean electric and the really crunchy distortion lace guitar. Wow! Three flavors of guitar in one song already. Boy, he spits too? Hold on. The three really crunchy electric guitar hooks are really nice. Oh, oh, and get smooth with it. Oh, 
microphone check. Let's go. Yeah. CM to the blue. What a switch up. I thought we were about to get an aggressive headbanger. But it's really smooth. Hold on. Also, we're getting like three different guitars again. Is that a CM Blue thing? That they throw in like three different flavors of guitar in every song? Because compared to the way this song started, this is a lot more friendlier. Again, the intro and the main bulk of the song are stylistically different. Multiple flavors of guitar again. So, so far from the early discography, I'm getting two things. Multi-layered multi guitars. And a different style intro to the song. Bell hits on the offbeat. Oh, and flex the vocal again. Oh, jump ahead in time a little bit. 2020. We're gonna get a little bit soft with it one time. Nice long build into a nice release. Hello cello section. Hello full string section. Ooh. Good to see you, strings, my people. I like that it's purely acoustic right now. Bring in some electric instruments now. 
Shout out Lee Cello one time. What a nice release at the end. Almost musical-like. It's a song in three! I feel like his delivery on this one is just a little bit different. It's got more emotion in it. Shout out the acoustic guitar in this as well. I don't know if it's the song itself, but I'm definitely feeling feeling the feels right now. Oh, oh, the airy emotional final line. You can't, you can't even be doing that to me, bud. I like that the acoustic guitar is taking the lead right now. What's surprising me is that the way the rap sections have been interwoven into, into their songs is like band music and rap, you don't really see a lot of overlap.
I love the feel good vibes of this one. This one might be one of my favorites. Yeah, that one might be one of my favorites. It's really feel good. It's really nice. One thing I am realizing is, yeah, it's very much the case, especially from the beginning, but CM Blue have a lot of flavors of guitar in their music. Like, a lot of flavors. Is it too like the backtrack? Because this one might be one of my favorites. <laughs> Oh, that one was really good. There's a slight summeriness to it. I don't know what it is about this middle block, but I'm really liking this middle block here. Ooh, the combination with the background vocals. Ow! This is a streak of songs, my goodness. You know what I'm also really liking is that so far we've had, in terms of FNC bands, N Flying, Hapayu, FT Island, and CM Blue that I've listened to in some capacity. Every single one of them, the final chorus turns into a vocal flex, and I love it. Like every single time someone ends a song, there's always a little bit of extra flair in the final couple notes. I also like the main keys here. It feels like the first time in a hot movie we had keys instead of guitar driving. Or at least that was this prominent. That one had a little, just like a little bit of a different color all around. Different instruments, different drum pattern. Interesting. We're going ballad -y again.
哦。This is a lot more energetic of a chorus than I thought. Ooh, flex the high range. Hey, are we at the end already? Oh shoot! I'd like to say this song makes for a great song to cook along with. It's got a nice beat. It's not too quick where you'll get distracted and want to dance along to it, but it's a song where you can sing while you cook. I like it. Jeez. Dang. That's a great time. It's honestly a great time. And that Your City album was so good too. Oh my. Honestly, this is exactly what I wanted from today. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted a quick and dirty way, just running through the major songs of their discography, see if their music, you know, was like to my fancy, if there were songs that really stood out. And honestly, this middle block around here-ish was absolutely spectacular. There were like five or six consecutive songs in there that were just perfection for me. So I'm gonna go and, uh, I'm gonna definitely go and playlist probably all of these and um, continue to delve into CM Blue's music because they have, um, their sound signature is actually quite interesting. Right oh, CM Blue's discography. Legitimately, that little middle section there where there were like five or six consecutive songs they're all just absolutely vibing along to, that's a fun time. And overall, a fun time indeed. I love it when I get to learn a new group like this, and especially if it's in the K band or in the, you know, K-Indie category of groups. What's interesting about CN Blue is I'm someone who grew up around the 80, like the late 70s and all the way through the 80s rock genre. So, you know, your regular rock, your hard rock, your hair metals, your power ballads, your second British invasion, kind of that area of... 80s rock music. That is what I'm really familiar with. That's the kind of music that I grew up listening to. And you know, that from there you get your typical band formations. Two guitarists, a lead and a rhythm, a bass, a drummer, and a vocals. Five member bands, very typical of the 1970s and 1980s. Even with a band with double guitars, you rarely get a catalog of guitar sounds this wide as CM Blue had in the handful of songs that they showcased on the Stingo Killing Boys, there were so many different flavors of guitar that were thrown into songs. And more often than not, it's multiple of those very unique, different sounding guitars in one song. And that's what makes CM Blue's music really cool for me, is they're not both like the really crunchy, overdriven guitar or the really clean acoustic. You get more than one 
Like to, earlier on, you had like the really clean acoustic guitar played finger style, really clean twinkly electric guitar, and then a really crunchy distortion heavy electric guitar, like a rock electric guitar. All three in one song, and they sound good together. That is the type of guitar blending you rarely get in band music, and I think that's very cool. And that, for me, I think is a standout point that I've learned from this little sea and blue deep dive, so to speak, through Dingo Killing Voice. That's tremendous fun. That is actually really good fun, and I greatly enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to hearing more from them down the road, whether in my free time or through videos like this. But that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request for me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be, you know, checking with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, or even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in life, for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and a shoulder to lean on whenever you need me. So take care of yourselves, take care of each other, spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.